pretty neat trick, very handy too. For instance, you're being entertained by a young lady and her husband comes home unexpectedly. You strike a couple of matches and gone. Not you, him. Here in Haiti, voodoo magic is supposed to be pretty powerful stuff. Now, I don't know whether that was the real thing or something phony put on to impress the tourists. However, I'm willing to be convinced either way. We hope that your journey to our country was comfortable. We have looked forward to your arrival for several days. Well, thank you. Would you sit down? I feel the welcome's a little overdone, you see. I didn't decide to leave New York until yesterday afternoon. We have known that you would come here for some time. Oh. What else do you know about me? Everything. <laughs> It's a pretty smooth line of patter. I'm sorry to sound so skeptical. But quite frankly, I don't think you even know my name. Please brush away the sand. sun too long. Don't tell me you believe this black magic, Hokey. I don't believe or disbelieve. I'm just telling you what I saw. What you think you saw. You mean it might be some form of hypnosis? It's possible. I wouldn't call it black magic, Mr. Krager. Voodoo's a religion in its own right. It's a power for good, not evil. Of course, like all faiths, it's open to corruption and misuse. Voodoo, schmoodoo. Look, this whole magic bit is strictly for hayseeds. Yeah. You don't have to come to Haiti to see it. New York is full of nightclubs with second-rate magicians doing the same act. Yeah, but not like this. I think that if you saw it, you might be a little less sure that it's phony. All right. All right, I'm willing to take a look. And I'll tell you something else. They won't do one single thing I can't explain. It should be very interesting. Why don't uh, we drive up there tonight? Mm. No, why not? As long as they got booze, I might as well be bored there as here. Speaking of booze, I ordered a drink ten minutes ago. I'm sorry, we're a little understaffed. I'll get it for you. Don't bother. I'll get it myself. I'll get a full glass that way. Well, you're getting quite a good class of customer these days. Well, in the off season, I'm lucky to get any at all. I'm sorry if he bothers you. Well, it doesn't bother me at all. In fact, he might be quite fun tonight. Why don't you come with us? Yeah, I'd like to. If you don't mind, I'll take my Jeep. I don't feel like driving through those mountain roads in Mr. Krieger's car. You just got yourself a passenger. Boy's old charm, isn't it? Sure is. Hey, come on now, will ya? I just want to show you how to get a real cool sound out of these. I'm not gonna hurt you. I think it's time one of us got our wandering boy back again. Your turn. These people weren't so polite, they just throw them out. If it doesn't calm down, I may do it myself. Mr. Tenter. Oh, good evening. I knew you had returned. Ah, you've been looking in your crystal ball again. <laughs> no, I saw you arrive. <laughs> well, after last night, a simple explanation like that never occurred to me. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Come on. Sorry. Hey! hey. hey. All of a sudden, I know what I want for Christmas. This is uh, Mr. Krieger, the Atherton. I'm afraid I didn't bring my sand, so I don't know your name. Sibau. Look, baby, why don't you and me take off into town and go find some place where we can dance? Eh? I could show you a real good time. Sibau is the one who told me all about myself. You couldn't use your powers to turn our friend here into a big white rat, could you? I think somebody already did. Ah, oh, what's the matter with you guys? Look, if a broad wants to make a fast buck doing a two-bit mind reading, that's fine, but don't give me that stuff about powers. Mr. Krieger, you pretend to conceal the truth about yourself when you have drunk too much. I'm not drunk. 
I haven't even got started yet. Why don't you tell us more? Your friend has much to hide. Why else should he use a name that is not his own? Oh, <laughs> oh baby, you're really upsetting. Hey, you see my passport. <laughs> Tony Krieger. Ah. Born 1930. White. Male. American citizen. Honey, you really slipped. What is Mr. Craig's real name? Ah, damn it, this is stupid. The names are not. Let's leave it alone, eh? Hey, you guys don't go for this parlor trick stuff, do you? It's all crazy. Mr. Grant. Grant? Who's Grant? I tell you, it's a pretty lousy act, and the dame can't even get my name right, even after we've been introduced. Hey, waiter! Bring us another round of drinks, will you? Oh, come on, baby. Why don't you show us a couple of car drinks? They're probably more in your line. Excuse me, I must go now. Who is that? Farrell Netlord. Netlord? That's a familiar ring. Isn't he what the newspapers call a political opportunist? Yes, and since the war, he's been mixed up in every revolutionary movement in the Caribbean. Hey, the party's getting serious. What about those drinks? Waiter, get the light out and hold that booze over here. Sibal, I cannot order you not to come here. I can only ask you, but you must believe me, it is for your own good. There's no harm. The tourists will pay to see these stupid tricks. But don't you see how you cheapen yourself? Sibal, you are one of the great ones. You have been given powers denied to the rest of the world. To use them on what you call these stupid tricks is an abuse of those powers. I'm sorry. You must understand, to Westerners, voodoo is some sort of a joke. I know nothing of its strength and history. By using your gifts as you do here, you perpetuate that image. They continue to think of it as a musical act. I will not come here again. Thank you. I'm sorry if I've upset you. No, I know what you have said is the truth. That you should trust me enough to take my advice is a great reward. It's time you left this place. Your brother is waiting to take you home. I can walk home on my own. Yes, Lord, Tommy, take care of you. What kind of a tip joint are you running here? You think I'm too drunk to know what I had? Monsieur, I'm sorry, but this bill is correct. Uh, there's five bucks. That's all you're getting. I'm sorry, monsieur, but this is not enough. Take your hands off me. That doesn't. One more word on you, I'll take you and this whole joint apart. All right, Craig, now you've had your fun and your spot. Everybody else is. Now get out. You can't push me around. You want to bet. Talk some more about it. We'll do it outside. Now get moving. I'm going anyway. Sorry about that. Let's go. going to feature as a gay and memorable evening. I deny it had certain conversations. After all, we saw some power in action. That was pretty impressive. Yes, I don't even pretend to understand it.
It's the power. There's nothing we can do for him. He's dead. His back's broken. What about the girl? She's very badly cut. Where's her doctor? Well, Savile lives a couple of miles up the road. There's a doctor there. That's Craig's car. It is the car that he does. Well, this one's alive. Looks like that doctor's in for a busy night. Let's get him in the jeep. No. Why not? If we take him to that village and they find out he killed that boy back there, there'll be trouble. Yeah, he's got a point. No matter how much he deserves it, we can't leave him here. No, you go ahead and take the girl. There'll be some other cars coming down from the bar. I'll flag one down. All right, I'll see you back at the hotel. How are you feeling? That's not hurt now. The man in the car. He's alive. My friend's taking him back to the hotel. It doesn't matter. He could take him to the ends of the earth. It would not change things. Change things? I don't understand. No matter where he is, he will be dead before sunrise. <laughs> Let's see. Not too deep. I think it looks worse than it is. I'll be all right. Hey, where's Templar? I want to talk to him. I'm pretty certain he'll want to talk to you. I'll get him to drop in when he gets back. Meanwhile, you better try and get some sleep. <sighs> yeah. If you want anything, I'll be just down the hall. <sighs> Right, is that comfortable? No, 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 no. It's better if you rest for just a few minutes. How is she, Doctor? She's fine. She'd be fine even without me. May I? Certainly. I see the people around here are just humoring me when they let me treat them. They've got far more faith in their own native medicine. Does it work? Most of the time. They use potions and incantations. Voodoo. Those are things they don't teach in medical school. Maybe they should. I agree. I tried to learn, but even after 20 years, I'm still an outsider. These are tribal secrets that belong to Africa's prehistory. You know, Dr. Sabao was next to her brother when he was killed. But she shows no emotion at all. I don't understand it. That is because he's not dead. Now, come on, Doctor. Sure, the heart has ceased to beat. Respiration has stopped. Every known medical test would confirm that life has gone from the body. But you'd never convince Sabao of that. I'm afraid this is all a little beyond me. This is Haiti, Mr. Templar. Those who die violently avenge themselves. This is the land of the undead. The living dead, if you like. The zombie. But Dr. Zombies. I thought they were just a legend perpetuated by horror movies. If you're interested, why don't you ask Sibel about it? She's supposed to have great powers. Around here, 
people treat her like a deity. Her father's the local huga, it's a sort of witch doctor or high priest of the voodoo cult. Doctor, a while back you said something about the dead avenging themselves. Sabara, she mentioned that Krager, the man who drove the car, will be dead before dawn. Then I thank God that I am not he. You really ought to rest a little longer, my dear. How's the leg? It begins to heal now. I must go to my father. He will want to thank you. You will come with me? Oh, there's no need for thanks, but I'll walk with him. Good night and thank you, Doctor. Good night, Mr. Templar. One last thing. When you see something that you know is impossible, leave room in your mind for doubt. Good night. Good night. <laughs> realize that you have a certain notoriety. All right, I've chosen a different word myself. What are they doing? They are summoning back the departed spirit. Before the body can rest in its grave, a life must be taken. Kragos? If he is the one who killed Tano, yes. An eye for an eye, huh? He deserves to die. There is nothing even you can do about it, Mr. Templar. Thank you. 
dead. It's impossible. Looks as though his spine's broken the same way Sabah's brother died. You better call the police. Yes. Yes, yes, of course. I'll, I'll do it right away. I want you to place an international call to Washington, D.C., to a Mr. John Hamilton in the Pentagon. Look, Simon, it's great to hear from you, but you didn't call me just to tell me the weather's great in Heidi. What goes on? John, you had an operator working undercover down here by the name of David Grant. Well, he's dead. Dead? Now, Simon, I don't want to talk about it in the open line. Grant was working on something that's pretty hot. I'll have Phil Brinkley fly down there right away. He'll be in Port au Prince by mid-morning. Appreciate it if you pick him up and give him the facts. I'll do that. Maybe he can fill me on a few points, too. Good night, John. Killed by voodoo? How can I put that in my report? I'd be laughed out of the service. Well, I'm personally convinced it's true. The medical report says he had a heart attack causing him to fall, which resulted in a broken back. Well, I can tell you that would be far more acceptable in Washington than that black magic bit. Now, what about the car? Well, I checked that myself. The brake fluid had been drained off. He was supposed to die in the crash, but unfortunately he ran adrift and knocked down a native boy and killed him. But did these people know the car was fixed? No. No, had they known? I don't think they'd have avenged the boy's death. As it was, Grant was putting on a drunk act. Had everybody fooled, including me. He wanted people to think that he was a harmless, loud-mouthed rummy. Somehow, Net Lord must have got on to him. Net Lord? That's who he was after, huh? Yeah. We don't know what he was planning, but you can bet your life it was dangerous. He was with Castor in Cuba. He was in British Guiana when the trouble started there, and now he's here. And there are incidents between Haiti and the Dominican Republic. It's quite a record. Mr. Templer, what I'm about to ask you is quite unofficial. But you'd like me to take up where Grant left off. Hamilton wasn't exaggerating when he told me about you. You realize you'd be on your own. If you ran into any trouble, there's no use coming to us for help. We deny even knowing you. Believe me, if I shout for help, I need someone a lot closer than Washington. You'll do it? You'll have a tougher job trying to keep me away from it. Thank you. Now, this is Grant's last report. He hadn't learned much, but one fact had emerged. Whatever it is, Net Lord is planning, is going to take place very soon. Mr. Templar, I was in town. I thought I'd look you up. Our meeting last night was too brief and under difficult circumstances. Oh, I'm sorry you had to wait. I had some business to attend to. Yes. You're meeting with the man who flew in this morning. <laughs> no, it's not black magic. This is a small place. Gossip travels very fast. Yeah. Especially if the gossips are paid to keep an eye open. <laughs> I have an insatiable curiosity. I see you yourself are not without inquisitiveness. After last night, how could I fail but be interested? You'll find it a fascinating study, Mr. Templar. Uh, I myself have been here for a year now and have spent most of that time in a study of the cult. Have you learned much? Yes. Uh, please don't think me immodest if I say that I probably know more about it 
than any other white man. Of course, I have been very fortunate. I've had expert tuition. Sabal? Yes, she and her father have been very helpful. They took me through the rites of Radha. That's the initiation ceremony. Having established myself as a true believer, I am now permitted to learn some of their secrets. Well, that means you are able to practice magic? <laughs> yes. Of course, at the moment, I only have very minor powers. Conquest of pain, touch of healing. You mean you don't feel pain? The tobacco is locally grown. I hope you don't find it too mild. A little, but like everything else around here, I'll probably get used to it. Well, I really must be going. I only called by to see if you'd join me at my house for dinner tonight. How could I refuse? Excellent. I'll have Sibao prepare some local native dishes for dinner. Sibao, I didn't know she got for you. Yes, by doing so, I'm able to give her and her father some money, which otherwise they'd be too proud to accept. But the problem will cease to exist in a short while. How so? But of course you didn't know. Sibao and I are to be married. Well, Mr. Templar, until this evening. Goodbye, Mr. Lee. Goodbye. I gather you're going with him tonight. Yes, he's asked me after his house. Well, consider yourself honored. As far as I know, he's never invited anybody else there. Mm. It wasn't so much an invitation as a challenge. Come in. Morning. Hey. Boy brought this for you. What is it? Some Valentine's Day in Haiti or something? <laughs> Not that I've heard of. What is it? I thought you might tell me. Obviously native work. I've never seen anything like it before. Jacob, come here a minute. What's this? What's the matter? It is Vever. Vever of a task. A jury. Rosalie is the most important voodoo goddess. This must be a charm or symbol. If you get it in a good way, very good. If you should know of, very bad. I think I got it in a good way from Sabao. Then nothing harm you. Well, congratulations. It's nice to know you're officially protected, isn't it? All right, thanks, Jacob. That's all. You know, Sabao is not the sort to make idle gestures. I wonder what she thinks I need to be protected from. And she obviously thinks you're in danger. Yeah, well, I've got the greatest faith in this little thing, but I think I'll take along something a little more concrete in the protection line. Shortly. How's the leg? Well, it's completely healed. Don't know what you use, but it sure beats penicillin. Please, the medallion I sent you. You're wearing it. Mm, sure I am. Here we are. Do not speak of it to my master. All right, but you're wearing the same thing. It is necessary for him to keep you from any harm. Incidentally, I understand congratulations are in order. You're to be married. It's my father's wish. When's the happy event? Tonight. Sibau, you mustn't let this happen. If Net Lord marries you, he'll be permitted to know the mistress of voodoo. I'm right, aren't I? It is true. He will share all my powers. I don't know what he's told you. But believe me, he'll use them only for evil and corruption. He'll destroy you and your people. The goddess Rizuli watches over me. Sabah, you can't afford to take the chance. Good evening, Mr. Templar. Good evening. I hope Sibau has entertained you. Yes, we uh, had a good deal to talk about. Good. I think it's time you got started. They'll be waiting for you to start the preparations. You seem remarkably composed for a man on his wedding night. 
You didn't really expect me to conform to the romantic concept of the nervous, trembling groom, did you? Not really. I've started to warm up for the ceremony. Let me get you a drink. Whiskey? Fine. After the ceremony, there'll be a Brulitz Inn. Oh, that's the big voodoo celebration, isn't it? Dancing, invocations, sacrifices. Your studies have taught you a good deal in such a short time. Oh, what I've really learned is that there's a great deal more to voodoo than I ever imagined. <laughs> Time to make ready. Sibau. The flames speak of death. There is evil in this night. Mithras has early guards over her followers. You must not be afraid. That man must not be permitted to know all the last mysteries. He is to be your husband. They cannot be denied him. If he should share our powers, he will use them to destroy us. And these things you say are not written in the omens. He seeks only after truth. He wants only to help us. Please, Father, do not let him know all our secrets. I cannot refute the omens. Then I must pray to Azuli to protect us all. I know only what she has shown me in the flames. Tonight, a man will die. I agree there are more things in heaven and earth than I ever dreamed of. I think I underestimated you. You really are ready to seek for the truth, aren't you? Yes. Especially about you. You see, I don't believe you've gone so deeply into this voodoo business just for your own personal spiritual satisfaction. Don't stop. You want power, or money, or both. Voodoo would give you those things. You'd corrupt a religion into a political machine. Your ruthlessness, combined with the ability to raise the dead and the other mysteries of voodoo, would make you the most powerful man in the Caribbean. Not just the Caribbean. South America, Africa. For a thousand years, they have been searching for a leader to take them to their rightful place in the world. And you think you're that man? Yes. Tonight, I complete the most difficult and the last part. After that, nothing can stop me. Especially not you, Mr. Templar. You know, I'll try. Of course. It's very amusing. Two men totally certain that they each will succeed. That's what makes horse racing. Oh, we shall see. But I'm being a very bad host. I invited you here to dinner. You must be hungry. Let's eat. That gun you're carrying, I'm sure you're too civilized to use it before we dine. <laughs> Once you have this power of voodoo behind you and you start using it for your political advancement, how do you know Sabao won't resent it and withdraw the power? Don't be absurd. Once I know all I need, I can do without either Sibao or her father. And just how do you manage that? When a member is properly initiated, certain parts of a sacrifice go into a small urn called a pot de tête. After that, the vulnerable element of his soul stays in the urn. Just like a safe deposit. And so no one can lay an evil spell on him. Unless they get hold of his urn. You see how easily I can destroy them if I act first. I've already told you I'll try and stop you. You must be pretty certain I'll fail to be so confidential. You've failed already, Mr. Templar. Naturally, I took certain precautions. I'm surprised you haven't noticed anything already. Don't you feel a certain heaviness about the body? Great desire to close your eyes. Stand up, Mr. Templar. Try. The wine. Yes. 
simple drug to relax the muscles. For in peace, you garment awaits me. Mr. Tentler, Mr. Tentler. Oh, you haven't. You are badly bruised. I should be badly dead. You sure this is not heaven? The goddess has only protected you. Yeah, baby. Oh. Miss Lord. He has gone to the Jungfrau. Has the initiation started yet? No, first comes the ceremony of purification. You must take me there before they start. Will begin. Of 
God. He must not be admitted. You must trust in the God Sibao. If, as you say, evil has entered this sacred place, they will show me a sign, and I will drive the evil out. Is it your wish to be admitted to the secrets of Hogar? It is my wish. Cache, cache, loleo. Si you mange, mange legba. Iga con una mori. Himself. I think I had a little outside help. He is an unbeliever. He has no right in this sacred place. Sibao told me of his coming. He shall speak. No. He wishes only to discredit me by saying things which are untrue. He shall be heard. If what he says is deemed by the gods to be false, then his life will be ended. That's a chance I'll have to take. This man will use the powers you give him for his own ends. His sole purpose in learning your secrets is first to destroy you and Sabao, and then to raise himself as the supreme leader of your religion. It's not true. I want only to further and strengthen our religion. Makuti Alega will seek out the lie. I'm afraid I'm a new boy around here. What's this Makuta Alega? It's the test of the serpents. Love. The fangs of the serpents will enter into the flesh of the one who lies. No! No! You must listen! You must listen to me, please! This place. I... 